When you think about the costs associated with cash, especially now, you have health costs. Consumers are concerned with having to handle cash during this COVID period. Merchants are also not able to accept cash during lockdown. And so for the merchant, that's a COVID challenge associated with not being able to accept payments digitally. The other cost that cash has is convenience. And so if you think about the consumer that has to leave home, go to the ATM, get cash, go to the merchant, make the purchase in cash versus being able to order online and receive their goods delivered to the convenience of their home, the merchant is now faced with conversion challenge where they may actually lose consumers because they don't have the most convenient payment option. Borrowing cost is also associated with cash. Not having digitally verifiable transactions that lenders can actually make borrowing or lending decisions against to help the merchant with working capital and liquidity, that introduces working capital challenges for merchants as well. And so if you think about it, it's imperative for merchants to go digital across Sub-Saharan Africa and Visa is doing so much to drive that because of these challenges associated with accepting cash. The COVID challenge, the conversion challenge, and the working capital challenge. This is a big problem in Nigeria and across Africa. A majority of transactions by businesses and individuals are still done in cash. 84% of employment in Nigeria is from small, medium businesses who are typically trading and selling goods and services. Now, by using cash as the way to collect their payments, there are significant issues for them. Theft from their staff, there's difficulty in managing their inventory and tracking what they actually have and have sold. Um, and really what we aim to do is to solve these problems. And this is why we have partnered with Visa because we are aligned on, on the mission to move the world from a cash world to a cashless world and to a digital infrastructure. Um, and this is why we, uh, we both come together with the Business Connect and Grow platform, which enables businesses to collect payments digitally and manage their inventory and earn more as they sell more. This is a sprint that uses human-centered design, agile methodologies, and rapid prototyping to build solutions to real-world problems quickly and with a high level of market readiness. These co-creations happen with our partners around the world. They could be banks, they could be internet companies, fintechs like Paga, um, governments even. And we aim to bring things that are user-centric, that solve real problems and pain points, and are, of course, uh, solving them quickly and uh, viably. With Paga, we actually decided to go down this path because there was a lot of synergy, both in terms of what we were trying to solve together and the kind of team that we were building. So the problem that Paga was looking to solve is something that's very close to our heart at Visa. They were trying to get small merchants, micro merchants, the small business owners, up and running with digital payments without all the complexity that comes with uh, it traditionally. With COVID-19, this became ever more so important that we find a solution that allows them to do it. And so th there was a great synergy with the problem we wanted to solve. It's a turnkey solution for merchants that is cost effective. And Paga is going to make this available to merchants on their mobile devices. And what it does is it brings Visa capabilities, digital credentials, cyber source assets, Visa Direct, scan to pay, and tap to phone to actually deliver a one-stop solution for merchants to enable digital acceptance while being very cost effective. And so that's actually very exciting. And we think that it's ideal for our sub-Saharan Africa markets. I'm so excited about Business Connect and Grow because the solution we have come to come up with, Paga and Visa together, is one that really solves the problems that businesses are facing in Nigeria. It allows businesses to manage their inventory in one place, regardless of where they're selling it. Um, it allows them to collect payments from people using a lot of different digital methods. They can pay with an interoperable QR code. They can pay by bank transfers. They can pay by using their card, using tap and go, so contactless payments. 
and they could also pay using a payment link or using ussd which is on any feature phone you can come in and dial a code and pay for that transaction this is a new innovation um, and i think it's going to really change the game in nigeria and across africa accepting digital payments is no longer scary or complicated or confusing and if we look into the future a solution like this will help add value to the merchant's business beyond just acceptance. It'll help them run things like payroll, inventory management, supplier management, so many little things that the digital business needs to do completely digitally. And that's where I think the future is.